we're back at it again with another mushroom, but in this case it's actually a pair of mushrooms. So first, let's talk a little bit about the aborted Enteloma mushroom. And now, that is the name of the mushroom. Don't flag this video. That is the mushroom name. The aborted Enteloma mushroom is also known as shrimp of the woods, and it is an edible mushroom. Lots of people enjoy eating it. It's apparently pretty good for you. It's pretty popular due to its shrimp-like taste, hence the name shrimp of the woods. The other player in this is a few species of Armillaria mushrooms. So Armillaria is a genus of mushrooms which includes a bunch of common edible mushrooms such as honey mushrooms. Now how these two mushrooms link? At first when it was first discovered it was thought that the aborted Enteloma mushrooms were victims, also known as hosts, of the parasitic Armillaria mushrooms. That's where the aborted part of the name aborted Enteloma comes from, because in context of mushrooms, aborted means parasitized. So it was thought that the um, Armillaria mushrooms parasitizes the Enteloma mushrooms. That's why often the aborted Enteloma are all weird and wonky shapes, because they're actively being parasitized by a different type of fungus. However, later analysis showed that in cultures grown in the lab, it was the Armillaria mushrooms that was actually being parasitized by the Enteloma mushrooms. So scientists are like, oopsie daisy, we got this backwards. But at this point, the aborted Enteloma name has already stuck. So that's just the name that it kept going with largely. So then the later understanding was that, no, it's the Enteloma mushrooms parasitizing the Armillaria mushrooms. However, even more analysis was done. Later analysis on these two mushrooms has shown that both of them can just play an Uno reverse card and parasitize each other. So sometimes it's the Armillaria mushroom that does the parasitizing and it attacks the Enteloma mushroom. But sometimes the Enteloma goes Uno reverse and it starts to parasitize the Armillaria mushroom. Now currently it's not really known how it's determined which one parasitizes the other one. It may do to environmental factors, it may be up to the individual mushroom and the mushroom immune system strength or whatever in order to fight off the parasite. It's not really known what conditions cause these mushrooms to be the victor in the parasitizing relationship. So essentially, it's just an arms race between the two mushrooms to figure out which one comes out on top and which one gets parasitized. But regardless, it's a very interesting relationship and there's not that many parasite host relationships that can swing both ways in this regard. So that's just a very, very cool relationship between two different mushrooms.